We take you to Rancho Cotati High School for the North Coast Section Division II Championship game. It's the Eureka Loggers of the Humboldt Del Norte taking on the Montgomery Vikings, and both teams come in with 10 game winning streaks looking to win this championship. Jason Frenchie coaching for Montgomery. And here's the handoff to Soma Vanuku, and he fumbles the football. Lauren Broomfield picks it up, and the Vikings are in business here in the first quarter. They hand it to Alex Ciudad Real, and he charges down the sideline inside the 10. First and goal, Montgomery from there. They give it to Ciudad Real again, and he dives across. Give the Montgomery fans something to cheer about in the wind and rain. Now Montgomery back on the attack after a three and out by Eureka. This pass is low, but caught by Anthony Gebauer. That sets up a field goal attempt by Jesus Banda, and he pounds it through the uprights to give the Montgomery Vikings a 10-0 lead here early on. But the Eureka Loggers would get their offense going. It's Soma Vanuku straight ahead, and he crosses midfield. For the first time, the Loggers are in Montgomery territory, and that's the way the first quarter would come to an end. This sets up a field goal attempt for the Loggers but the snap goes through Vanuku's hands. Lauren Broomfield hustles after it. The Vikings take over. Vikings can't move the football, and it's Eureka's turn again. Soma Vanuku once again crosses midfield. Now they hand it to Vanuku again, and check this out as he bounces to the outside. Watch how tough this guy is to bring down. Shakes off one Viking and then runs right through a couple more for a big Eureka first down. Down near the goal line, you know who's getting the football for Eureka. It's Von Nuku and he dives across. That's a touchdown. Eureka on the board to make it 10-7. And the fans that have made the long trek from Eureka have something to cheer about. Ensuing kickoff, John Jesse loses the handle. Isaiah Griffin dives on it for Eureka, and the Loggers are right back in business with a chance to take the lead. They move it down near the goal line, and Vanuko is in. Touchdown, Eureka. It's now 14-7. Max Heller now trying to make something happen toward the end of the half. He loses the football, and Eureka dives on it. That's the way the first half ends with the Montgomery Vikings trailing Eureka by a score of 14-10. And we take it to the third quarter. Here comes Soma Vanuku as Eureka is trying to score. He is stripped of the football. The Vikings knock it loose. And Montgomery recovers it as Devin Iser dives on it. But the snap goes right through Max Heller's hands. He has to try to make something happen. He's tackled in the end zone by Wesley Hull. That's a safety. A short kickoff gives Eureka the football back, and they drive right down the field to take a 23-10 lead. And the rain begins to pick up as Montgomery's chances dwindle, but the Vikings would not give up. Now here's the pass, Max Heller to Brannon Blank, and he gets down to the 36-yard line. First and 10, Montgomery. Heller trying to get the Vikings into the end zone now, but watch the great coverage by Jake Cruz of Eureka. He intercepts the pass, and Eureka's back in business. Now at midfield, it's Zach Wilkinson. He breaks a tackle and is gone. Wilkinson, shake and bake one more time near the end zone, a 50-yard run. He would go over 100 yards on the night. The Loggers now lead it 30 to 10, but in the fourth quarter, the Vikings come back. The touchdown pass, Heller to Brandon Blank, and everyone knows what's coming here. The Vikings will try the onside kick, and they are successful as they recover it. It is picked up by Justin Mendoza, and Max Heller has the offense back on the field. A little over two minutes to go. Not out of the realm of possibilities. Max Heller falling as he throws this one, and look at the catch by Brandon Ash. First down, Vikings at the 29-yard line. Now it's fourth down. Heller trying to get the Vikings in the end zone, throws it deep just a little too long and that's the way this one would end the Eureka Loggers begin to celebrate with their fans as they are the North Coast section division two champions the Montgomery Vikings season comes to an end and the Loggers definitely has something to party about as Soma Vanuku goes over 170 yards and three touchdowns. Their coach, Garrett Montana, doing a terrific job with this team. They started the season one and two, but now they are hosting the pennant and hope for state bowl consideration from the CIF. Let's hear from the loggers. We win tonight. Oh, it's, 
really beautiful. You know, I still have them processed in my mind. You know, I'll probably do that tonight on the bus. Uh, you know, it's just unbelievable. After you guys lost two out of your first three, um, you know, what happened to turn this ship around and get you guys headed in the right direction? You know, something clicked with our, I don't know if it was with our line, uh, something just clicked. We became a family. We became one. Uh, you know, I don't, I, it's hard to explain when something like this happens. It's unbelievable. So tell us about the battle against Montgomery. What it was like playing um, It was a dogfight out there. And, uh, you know, we're, our coach was telling us all week um, that it was going to be a dogfight, and uh, they gave it to us. And, it was, and we came out there fighting every play. Uh, what was it like having this team come together? Obviously, you were kind of the focal point, but but obviously it was a great team effort as well. Um, it was just the bond that we have together as a teammate. You know, we, we consider it. We call each other's brothers and everything, and a family, and um, we stay to it. You know, on and off the field, we watch each other, and we take care of each other. And it's th the bond just kept us together. Are you going to get to take it to you personally to get to this level and for the team in general? It's um, it's just um, it's a great feeling, and um, the, for our team to come to this level, it's, it's um, it shows how much we worked for it, and it, it's a it's a great payoff. Think you guys deserve some consideration for the state bowl? Um. Yeah, you know, um, coming through. I don't. I don't think that people have beat teams like we have through through the playoffs before. But if if we do get a chance to play in the state game, it'd be an honor for us. So congratulations to the Eureka Loggers. They are the North Coast Section Division Two champions for 2009. Right here on YSN365.com.